Meet Duncan. Duncan likes music, and recently he got a pair of studio monitors because of their amazing sound quality and how well they work with his computer. Duncan's been grooving out listening to some great music. But Duncan did some research and learned about balanced audio signals and realized his current setup just wouldn't cut it. He decided to look online on Amazon to see if he could find a USB DAC that would suit his needs. He found one that had some pretty good reviews and was a little bit expensive, but he decided to go for it anyway because it seemed like it would give him the balanced audio and high quality listening he needed. Two days later, his DAC arrived in the mail and he was excited to open it up. He set it up and noticed that the audio quality was in fact better. But with his EDM, he noticed that the bass just wasn't quite enough. He thought about what he could do and decided he would get a sub to complement his speakers. Another two days later, and his sub had arrived. Wow, that's a big one, he thought. Duncan loved the new bass on his EDM and jammed out for several hours. But when he listened to his folk music, he noticed it was just a little too much. He thought about what he could do and realized the only way to solve the problem was to go behind his speaker and deal with all of the cabling. But the cabling was annoying, his back hurt, and he was frustrated, so he decided he might as well just not deal with it. Duncan feels defeated. Meet Bo. Bo also likes listening to music. There you go. And he also got a pair of dope studio monitors to improve his experience. He researched balanced audio and decided that a USB DAC was right for him. He went on Amazon, scrolled through the results, but found one that looked kind of interesting. It supported 5.1, but seemed to be a little overkill. He clicked on it and was blown away. It was the Open Audio 5.1, and it had more features than he thought he needed, but the price was good, and he thought that he might as well be future proof. Two days later, Bo gets his Open Audio 5.1 in the mail and notices that the sound quality is definitely better. But the bass isn't quite there yet, so he gets a sub. Sounds good on some music, but for his folk, it's just a little too much. So he goes into the accompanying Open Audio 5.1 software and disables the sub, allowing his speakers to use their full capabilities on the folk music. The story you've just heard is a very common one in the USB audio industry. Current USB audio solutions just don't provide the flexibility and features that audiophiles demand. That's where the Open Audio 5.1 comes in. Despite its small size, the Open Audio 5.1 is able to handle nearly any situation you throw at it. With six balanced TRS outputs on the back, you have full flexibility in controlling your speakers your way. Gone are the days of connecting your speakers through your sub and having to deal with a mess of cables if you want to disable the sub and let your monitors take over. With our accompanying software, you get full control not just over which speakers you want active, but how the sound is split between them. Want to play the bass over both the speakers and the sub rather than using a frequency cutoff? Done. Want to play duplicate stereo over a four speaker setup for increased range and then shift back to quad channel sound afterwards? No cable unplugging required. Upgrades are easy, downgrades are easy, and for those who aren't ready to upgrade to a 5.1 setup and enjoy the benefits offered in gaming and movie watching, there's also a headphone jack in front with native support for bioral sound, meaning you can use your Open Audio 5.1 DAC as a 5.1 system with any computer with just a pair of headphones. So, with its high degree of customizability through the included software package, its future-proof inputs and outputs, and the underlying commitment to audiophile-grade digital to analog conversion, the 5.1 Open Audio DAC is perfect for anyone looking to get a great speaker setup for their home computer.